In this video, I will show you 10 photography ideas for at home. Unfortunately, COVID-19 is not over yet, and particularly for those people who are back in lockdown, here are a few ideas everyone can do to practice and enjoy photography from at home. Please note that there is a full-length version for every idea. I have gathered them in the description. My name is Wolf Amri, Wolf.Amri on Instagram, and I help you fight boredom during lockdown. Photography idea for at home number one, soap bubbles. Dissolve some dishwashing liquid in water in a bigger glass container. Next, put the glass on a tablet with a nice background image, use a straw to create some bubble structures, and take an image from right above to get your first beautiful images of single soap bubble structures. If you create more bubbles, you get kind of a stale structure that will look totally different. Don't forget to change your background image, by the way. The ones I created are available for download. If you create multiple layers of soap bubbles, you will get kind of 3D effect. This image was shot with a smartphone, by the way, to give me a bigger depth of focus. Make sure to check the full version of this video for details. And for a different look, you can also shoot from below. If you like the results, tag me on Instagram at wolf.amri or at free.photography.course or post a link in the comments of this video. I'd really love to see your results. Number two of our top 10 photography ideas for at home, an apple on black background. For our next image, you can use a black background if you have, but believe it or not, I used a white one and still got a black background. Use a glass and a fork and spare the apple onto the fork. If you have, use a tripod, but if you don't, you can use boxes or books instead. As a light source, we're going to use a white image on a smartphone and rotate it above the apple to create a beautiful smooth lighting. To even improve the image, you can spray water on the apple to make it look even more delicious. And it doesn't even take a dedicated camera. You can use your smartphone camera with the settings I provide in the full video. Did you subscribe to this channel yet? If not, you better do that to find this video again. You probably won't do all the videos at once, plus we have a free photography course too. You don't want to miss those videos. Our third photography idea for at home is a surprisingly professional shot of a beer bottle. Instead of using a tripod, I will use books because everyone can do all these images. You don't need fancy equipment. Be creative and use what you have instead of complaining what you don't have. We even borrowed Fox's outpost to create a nice background using a blanket. As a light source, we will use a tablet this time. The first image is pretty boring, but we will get there step by step. First, move the tablet to create a bigger light source. Next, we will add a white box as a reflector to brighten the dark size of the bottle, and we will even create a custom light with our smartphone to brighten the bottle from behind. To make the image perfect, I will add a flying bottle cap and show you how to add some finishing touches in Photoshop or your favorite image editing program. Photography idea number four for at home is oil on water. We will again use an iPad with the backgrounds I provide for download. Again, I will only use props that every one of you has in your household, being boxes and our water container. With a syringe or a fork, you can place the oil drops on the water surface for your first images. But to improve the shots, we are going to use dishwashing liquid to make the drops better visible and stable. After that, you can create all sorts of structures. Make sure to check all the different backgrounds in the full version link below, I will tell you exactly what background you need and why you need that. Before I get to number five, let me motivate you to help me create more videos. If you buy any of your next purchases from the referral links I provide below, you help finance this channel and future videos without spending a single cent. Home photography idea number five, lighting a match. Use an old pear, apple, potato, or whatever to place your match. Then get a candle, set it on fire, 
and place it below the match. Wait a bit, and if it doesn't work, lift the candle slightly so that it gets closer to the match head. Set your camera to burst mode and start firing as soon as the match head starts to glow. It may take a few tries, but it is way worth your patience. Photography idea for at home number six, fruits on white. Believe it or not, we're going to use our tablet again as a background. A smartphone would also do, but you would have to use smaller fruits. Two wooden spoons, rubber bands and two chairs will work even better than a tripod for this shot. Cut some thin slices of fruits, for example a kiwi, and place it right onto the screen of your tablet. As before, make sure to choose a white image as a background. If the slice is too thin, cut the thicker one. In the full video, I will give you a brief overview of the histogram on your camera display to make sure your exposure is spot on. If that is new to you, I'd strongly recommend checking the link to the full version in the description. And finally, add some more fruits for an even better result. Number seven in our list of the best photography ideas for at home is smoke. Put an incense stick into a potato or something similar and place it well below your camera plane. You want to photograph the smoke and not the stick, so give it some room to develop the smoke. Light the smoke from behind with a flashlight. That could even be the one from your smartphone. That will give you some great results already, but to improve the shots and get the noise down, you can use an external speed light. Now look at these shots. Amazing, no? And finally, I will show you how to change the color of the smoke in your editing software. Photography idea for at home number eight, photograph a nose spray or any other kind of spray. What you need is obviously a spray, some kind of dark black background and a light. This time it is close to impossible without a flash because we need to freeze the fast motion of the spray. Block the light from the camera, otherwise you will get lens flare. On the opposite side of the light, we're going to put a kitchen roll that will act as a reflector to brighten up the shadows. First, we will take an image without the spray in action. What follows is the most challenging part. You have to get the perfect timing for spraying with one hand and pressing the shutter button with the other. That will take a few shots, but keep on going because what you get is this. And three minutes in Photoshop that I explain in detail will give you the final results. We have two more photography ideas for at home. Number nine, use your smartphone as a ring light. Step one, find a cardboard and cut out a piece that is bigger than your smartphone. Use a glass that is slightly smaller than the screen of your smartphone and draw a circle on the cardboard. Next, use a cutter to remove the circle. Then attach four zip ties to the corners of the cardboard and a cord to those zip ties. Grab the cord in the middle and attach another cord on which you can hang your construction. You guessed it, use a white image on your smartphone and place the smartphone upside down on the cardboard. Choose a long shutter speed on your camera and let the smartphone rotate above your subject. Isn't that super awesome? Don't forget to also try other subjects. Bottles work really well too. And the last photography idea for at home is shooting isolated subjects on white. You might think you need super fancy equipment for that, but no, you don't. You can build a softbox out of a cardboard box. Then all you need is two boxes to put your softbox on. a few pieces of white paper for your background and a black blanket to block the ambient light because the light will only come from a flashlight that you place within the DIY softbox. 
Then place your subject on the white piece of paper and use a long shutter speed to make up for the very dim light source. At the end, a bit of brightening in your editing software and extending the background or cropping away the dark parts of the image will get you a really professional result.